We're at the start of the game between the Memphis Grizzlies and the Oklahoma City Thunder. Usually, NBA games don't get delayed for anything. They always start like 10 minutes after they say they do. And there's usually nothing that delays NBA games. Immediately off the rip, SGA goes up to someone and says, Now the three can get to the bucket. And oh yes, he's got what we call the floater or the teardrop over the big man. All right, Mike. And as you can see, all the players on the court are wearing their white uniforms, and you can barely tell like Dylan Brooks's jersey would not look any different during the game than Baisley's. I haven't seen a congregation of people wearing all white like this since the uh, 1800s. That's a joke, by the way. Ironic how it's in Oklahoma. That style has a really uh, soured since then, and let's hope that what they stood for doesn't return. I'm really pushing the boundaries with this joke. If you know, you know. Anyway. All the players are laughing about it. Like, this is so crazy. Why are we all in white uniforms? And this is obviously going to cause a delay of game. Some team is going to have to change their jersey, and it's probably going to be the Grizzlies since they are the away team. Even the OKC coaching staff is surprised. They're both like, I had no idea that they were wearing white. Whoever created the jersey schedule really fucked up this one. According to the OKC broadcaster, this also happened last year to OKC against the Hawks. Except that OKC had to change their jersey at halftime. They legit wore dark orange and red together. It probably looks worse on screen than in real life, but still, it's way too similar. Imagine having a play in one jersey and a half, then having to change it. I can't begin to fathom how many turnovers were in that game. Well, Atlanta had 11 and OKC had 10, so it wasn't horrible, but it certainly didn't help. Eventually, this ref clears things up. We will postpone the start until Memphis can get the right jerseys on. Even he's laughing. I don't think I've ever seen an official make a ruling and laugh at the same time. They're slowly getting their emotions back. Soon enough, they're going to have sentience. So now, all the Grizzlies players have to go back to the locker room and get some different colored jerseys. Look at how everybody is ready for the game to start. They don't even notice that the other team is wearing white except for Theo Maladon. Ja is getting ready, giving some good camera angles. Same with Shea. So now, the whole Memphis team comes out in the correct jerseys. They get to actually start the game. And bam, jump ball, Steven Adams wins the tip. So the Thunder fans get an extra few minutes to get to their seats in order to start the game. Too bad the Thunder are 20 and 47. But hey, at least you got to beat the Grizzlies in the Jersey game. Got to their heads because the Grizzlies only won by 7. Subscriber of the Grizzlies will wear the same colored jerseys as you. This video is a wrap.